Hello everyone and welcome back to Deciphering Weather. In today's video, we're going to discuss the incoming La Nina for the peak of the hurricane season. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. So we're looking at the latest satellite image of the Atlantic Basin thanks to tropicaltippets.com for Tuesday, July 16th, 2024. We are monitoring four tropical waves in the Atlantic Basin, three in the basin, and one getting ready to come off the coast, as you can see on the right side of your screen. But as you can see, none of them look to be impressive or uh, conducive for tropical development in the next seven days. Here's their vorticity signature, the spin and energy in the atmosphere. None of them really show any signs of organization. And because of that, the National Hurricane Center is not expecting any tropical activity over the next seven days. Now, we did make a video yesterday about a GFS bias storm potentially forming in the Gulf of Mexico beyond seven days. And that's still there on the GFS model, but it's actually gone even beyond the 10-day the mark. Uh, so we're not too concerned about that one because it's not showing up on the European model. And as you can see on the ensembles, we're not much in terms of development that we'll have to worry about. What we do need to be concerned about is the peak of the hurricane season and the impending La Nina that is developing. As you can see in our black box here, this is the Nino 3.4 index, where we measure in the Central Pacific Basin the temperature anomalies of the Pacific Ocean. And those light blue colors shows that it is cooling off and has been cooling off continuously since April when we lost uh, our La El Nino designation. As you can see here in our 3.4 index chart, we saw a substantial decrease during the end of April into May, and then it's pretty much flattened out since then, but there's signs that this is going to continue back towards uh, the La Nina trend that we saw at the middle of the springtime. The average Southern Oscillation Index over the last uh, three months has been a negative 1.08. Uh, that's neutral Enzo territory, which is exactly where we are. We're not in El Nino territory. We're not in La Nina territory. We're right in the middle right now where we should be. But as you can see in June on the right side of your screen, we were a negative 4.89 SOI value. Uh, and if we get to negative 7 or greater, then we will be heading in that La Nina territory, but it needs to be negative seven for three months straight. And as you can see, we have six points to go to get there, but our daily contribution today was negative 10. So if that continues for the next three months, we will eventually be classified a La Nina. Now over the next two to three weeks, you can see by the time we get to August 1st, this blue color in this black box here, is indicating stronger than normal trade winds. And what that means is it's going to push the waters along the equatorial Pacific from South America westward towards Australia and Asia. And that's going to cause upwelling where all the cool water in the up beneath the ocean surface is going to come to the surface and cool off the sea surface temperatures, creating La Nina-like conditions. And this is looks to peak in the middle of the fall, but initialize sometime around the peak hurricane season in the months of August, September, and October, based on the model predictions, as you can see here. We have about a 70% chance of seeing La Nina kick off by the time we get to the peak hurricane season during August, September, or October. So what is that going to mean for the hurricane season well, La Nina conditions creates a difference in the uh, circulation patterns in the atmosphere. So we would see sinking air in the Pacific Basin and a more robust rising air in the Atlantic Basin. And basically, more rising air would mean more tropical waves being able to develop and create thunderstorms and without wind shear, we would potentially have more hurricanes. So how, what do we see going forward over the next couple of weeks? 
Well, right now we're in a pattern where we have increased wind shear across the Atlantic Basin, Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean, and parts of the main development region in red here show high wind shear anomalies. And that's going to continue into next week. But by the time we get to the beginning of August, as you can see here with the La Nina trending towards coming about in the months of August, September, and October during the peak hurricane season, you see that the wind shear is going to start to subside. And when that subsides, tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa and moving through the Atlantic Basin will have a better time of developing like we saw previously with Beryl. Not to say we're going to have another Category 5, but if it becomes favorable conditions just like that, we could see more storms form, and more storms potentially means more impacts, and that's what we're trying to prevent and warn people for to get ready now while things are quiet before the peak hurricane season comes about in uh, the months of October, I mean, August, September, and October. So we'll keep it everyone apprised. Right now the GFS is just showing bias storms, no collaboration with the European model at the moment. So we'll continue to do the long range forecast to see if and when these conditions were to change. As a reminder, we have super thanks available on deciphering weather. I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Blessed Bloodline for donating to yesterday's channel. So thank you very much. And if you like to donate to the channel because you like what we're doing here, please go down to the heart button where it says thanks. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Please share this video with your family and friends on social media. And if you're new and like detailed with the breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.